Note: The following video depicts a specific configuration of the notebook. The same removal and replacement procedures apply to all configurations of the notebook. Before you begin, remove the display enclosure, battery, speakers, and wireless module. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of all cables for later replacement. Remove the retention tape that covers the webcam microphone board ZIF connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the webcam microphone board ZIF connector and disconnect the webcam microphone board ribbing cable from the system board. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbing cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the display panel ZIF connector and disconnect the display panel ribbing cable from the system board. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbing cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchscreen control board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchscreen control board ribbing cable from the system board. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the audio board ZIF connector and disconnect the audio board ribbon cable from the system board. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the three 3.5 mm P0 Phillips head screws. That secure the system board to the display panel assembly. Remove the three two millimeter P zero Phillips broadhead screws that secure the system board to the display panel assembly. Lift the system board off of the alignment pins on the display panel assembly and remove. Important. Take extreme care when removing the system board. The adhesive quality of the thermal pads may make removal of the system board difficult. Replacement. Important. Ensure the thermal pads on the display panel assembly are undamaged and properly positioned. Damaged thermal pads should be replaced. Place the system board onto the alignment pins on the display panel assembly. Caution. Ensure that all cables are free from being pinched between the system board and display panel assembly. Replace the three two millimeter P zero Phillips broadhead screws that secure the system board to the display panel assembly. Replace the three three point five millimeter P zero Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the display panel assembly. Insert the audio board ribbon cable into the audio board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the touchscreen control board ribbon cable into the touchscreen control board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the display panel ribbon cable into the display panel ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the webcam microphone board ribbon cable into the webcam microphone board ZIF connector on the system board. And press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Replace the retention tape that covers the webcam microphone board ZIF connector on the system board. Important: After system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required. That may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI and other settings, injecting Microsoft Windows 8 digital product keys.